Temi Owasa, who was formerly signed to YBNL and, has, and is popularly called the YBNL Princess, has called out a former boss, Olamide Adedeji Days, which is of the famous Olamide, of course, after intent that their relationship has gone sour. Um, the YBNL Princess accused Olamide of giving her an other artist, Hope, and snatching it from them. She alleged that he gave the world the impression that he's kind, but beneath the facade is a man that leaves a trail of broken dreams. Mm -hmm. Tammy, you have not dropped it. That, um, she's reacting off the back of this when someone said, Tammy, you have not dropped a song in two years, lazy artist. And she said, I actually recorded three albums and multiple singles that were never dropped by YBNL for no reason. And my shows were rejected by them, making it hard for me to do anything. My voice may not be loud, but I feel shy. Out. You don't give a person hope and snatch it from them. Olam de Adidiji, I will always have your name in my mouth. Silence is not my language. And she went on and on and on saying the only mm. way she'll keep quiet about this is if Olam de kills her. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's pretty intense. What's your take on this? First of all, it was wow. <laughs> was like wow. Okay. Like she's the first to actually come yes. out to speak negatively about, about Olamide, Olamide ever. Like that I can remember at least. Um, but that doesn't mean that she's wrong. It mm. does make it a bit more um, harder in regards to me mm. wanting to give Olamide the benefit of the doubts. Like mm. was she difficult? Um, did you? Was, did she breach? Um, breach something? Is she under probation? You know, is there like a legal issue going on there, you know, legal fiction? Is there something else, you know, from your perspective or is it just simple? Is it your personality, is yeah. it your attitude yeah. towards work? Exactly. Is, it, yeah. is it that you want to, but then the way she was also writing it, it's almost hard to believe because she kept saying that, um, you know, she didn't really want to talk because then I'm part of YBNL, so I was happy with that. That doesn't sound like somebody who has an evident issue at hand. She that just doesn't thought, sound like somebody that I had something to bring to the table that just had the YBNL logo mm -hmm. and was running mm -hmm. She did have to something me. to... She had something to bring to me. She had three albums and how many songs and how many things was she listing for you? Yeah, then if you have all that, because one thing about hard work is it never lies, right? If you had all that and you know you had something, being a part of YBNL mm -hmm. would never be enough for you. So she, she kind of like settled for less if you ask me because it's okay to say that, yeah, being part of the YBNL but family if was I, a if big you, deal. You can't just up out of mm -hmm. contracts like that. You, especially for you, artists who have nothing else. Like, like, if let's say somebody else was trying to say, True. hello, come to me. True. And from what she was saying, or somebody else was saying that they brought her from Ilori. This girl yeah, does not have anything else. She has no family, no friends, no social support. Like as you know, she's the queen of the Lagos city and knows everybody. And she has all the million plans in the world. And when she said that, like, you know, a part of the YBN, so I was hoping that, let me just yeah, continue something. having... Because even that would have his own privileges, mm -hmm. obviously. Like, at least she'll be taken care of, to say the least. Like financially while she's in Lagos. I mean, she'll have a place to stay and all of that. Well, so when she said that to, <clears throat> to me, it felt like there really wasn't any other issue because she, she should have said, I'd be easy because I did ABC and D. Is it because mm. I did ABC and mm. D? But she's chilling with you guys. Mm. So that means that you guys are cordial enough to still keep her under you and, mm. and have as your responsibility. So then why aren't you allowing her release any songs? One thing I know about Lamide is... Um, I can remember during the lighter saga as well before he got signed to uh, what's it called now? David. Um, no. Malian, Malian right. music. Lighter is now signed to Malian music. Before then, he also did the crazy interview talking about Olami Day, saying that, oh, he wanted to leave so many times, it will make him stay. His dad called Olami Day, blah, blah. And then Olami Day granted an interview where he said, and Lighter had to apologize to Olami Day. One thing I know about Olami, Olami Day doesn't offer officially sign it gives you a management contract it doesn't officially sign a lot of people they're just a few that it officially sign such as Adekunle Go, such as Lil Kesh, such as the Fireboy. reigning king Fireboy it does basically management all them uh, Lighter all them Picasso all those other boys or Yummy Black that he that he saw them on Instagram saw them on social media and he put them on his team it's just to give you a platform to run with that affiliation with YBNL is basically what it Doors. But does so, management contract um, give you the authority to deprive somebody of a release? 
No, the thing is, now I need to know exactly what they have. What if it is not? Do you know how, what it takes to release an album? Do you know what it takes to promote an album? Do you know how much income you have to put into streams before I you know start it doesn't, making money? I know money? it doesn't need five years. <laughs> yeah, I know it does not need I five know, years. I'm just saying that if you are not like... 100 my responsibility now she's saying no those are very wild allegations and really, I wild. really wild really really yeah. wild because there's two things here and I, my issue is that you didn't produce her songs mm. and then she was also not allowed to produce her songs by so herself she allowed, she sorry not produce release. release her songs you didn't release her songs and you should you should also not allowed to release her songs. so you do have a contract with this girl because i know an artist it's like it's like telling me not to talk which is what, what runs through my veins. The only way you can actually compress that is if you have something really, really powerful over me. And I know that to distribute music is not hard. You need to enter Deezer. And then, Type the, upload the song, and it's out there. Like, it's easy to do that on your own. So that means for her to not be able to even do it by herself, like, if you don't want to stop, then there is a contract. And it's a heavy contract. And it's definitely more than management. Because management does not actually own... Your publishing and your copyright and all what of that. What if Olamide comes out tomorrow and says, you only have four songs and four videos. You don't have any other song I know about. Okay, even then, why is it not out? No, she, no if she released four songs, four videos. Right. Yeah, so she, he said in five years, all I was able to do, that's like a song for for every year. Mm. So there's a year that was dormant you get. Mm. So like a song and a video for every year. Which is that's, too little. Yeah, which is, and that's why she's questioning Olamide. If that's how you got to where Olamide gave us it back to mm. back. Like Baba never slept for a day. Mm. Do you understand? He was always giving us constantly. So I get where this girl is coming from. But you know, like they always say, there are three sides to a story. I mean, My side, your side, and the yeah. truth. So. I think uh, I, saw, I saw another theory. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, our feminists have brought themselves into the conversation saying that is it a gender? the thing that maybe he doesn't actually believe in her package what about light and then picasso they shouldn't even go there same thing happened with those guys what about you your me blaze yeah. and all those other guys they shouldn't even go there well, because I, I, well according to them the story is different i mean they did come out and now say obviously they that, didn't come out that story is very it has now finished it's not concluded mm. so it's very it's kind of hard to we don't know how the story is going to conclude mm. but i don't know what it is i don't know if it, I, I really doubt it was a gender thing because if he was that misogynistic is not the word for when you hate women it's when men women hate men whatever the term is no misogyny is when um men hate women no when women hate men misogynistic Misogynist. anyway okay. um we'll check that out uh when or maybe it is i don't know when men hate women <laughs> when, that's the point is the point is that if he was if he hated women he wouldn't even want to sign somebody like that to begin with like he wouldn't go as far as actually signing the woman and mm. and having a contract and even releasing those four songs mm. so it has to be something else other than maybe maybe he doesn't believe in her work as much but it's not because she is not a man if, if that makes sense maybe just because i don't really just agree with your music or maybe he has too much on his plate sometimes that happens when you have kind of like and generous people get into that trap a lot. Don't worry, I got you. 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 And then you're like overwhelmed with what it actually takes to really got the person. So I'd right. like to hear what the story so is. So we just don't lead um, the viewer straight. Uh, misogynistic is actually when men ate women and okay. not when women ate men. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So.